giving you a voice, making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. Now we're going to get into the U.S. West. Um, the we're of course we're saving the best for last. So starting on the coast of California, we had multiple World Championship qualifying events. In NorCal, we had the NorCal Regional Championship, where all the top teams from NorCal qualifiers battled it out in this two division event. In the Silicon Division, we had top contenders in Team One Zero Nine Two Eight Brainstorms and Seventy Three O Three Robo Agitars. Neither of these teams put on too strong of a showing in their qualifiers, with the Seventy Three O Three, in fact, ranking twenty fifth in their first one but they really brought the heat coming into champs. These teams had different optimizations when it came to field positioning. Um, 7303 uh, excelled at the crater, while 10928 was versatile at maneuvering through that depot. When alliance selections came around, these two teams partnered up and picked team 13162 Apollo as their second robot. With amazingly efficient six-second cycles from 7303 and 10928 feeding off the other crater, they made quick work of their division. On the other side of the event, we had NorCal Powerhouse's 1103 Yacht and 9 Innovators and 6165 MSET Cuttlefish, both of whose teams were designed similarly with the horizontal intake and rotating arm and a, and, a, and, a, and a depositor based on a rotating arm. These two teams paired up with 15170 The Goats and were able to make it out of the gold division. These two alliances had a very eventful finals, but unfortunately, due to autonomous and intake issues plaguing 6165 and an amazingly efficient strategy played by the Silicon field, Silicon ended on top. However, things didn't end there, end there for that gold division. 6165 Amstead Cuttlefish won the Inspire Award, leaving them with a gold-silver record and a slot at the Houston World Championships. Um, moving down to San Diego, more Southern California now, um, the uh, regional and world championship powerhouse 4216 Rise of Hephaestus and Team 9441 Syndicate finaled at that San Diego regional, both of them securing slots to champs. Unfortunately, uh, well, I, I believe so. Unfortunately, I, we don't have video of that. So once again, please put video on that. Uh, please do send us video so that we can get to it. So going up north, the Utah State Championships were one of the most controversial and talked about events in this year's Rover Ruckus season. After qualifications, the old powerhouses of Team 5026 Tesla Coils ended on top, and 12357 Inconceivable followed them closely at second. Surprisingly, Redneck Robotics ended up at 15th, but was selected by the second seed. This match that's playing currently, semi-final two, shows Redneck Robotics playing an aggressive defense-offense combination by scoring blocks from their opponent's lander position, preventing the, uh, their opponents from scoring themselves. Um, their opponents over here is 9112, I think, um, uh, Skeleton Crew. And we can see how 724 will just go right back there. Um, I believe this is a, a contact cycle. And even though they're on the red alliance, they're able to sort of prevent or slow down 9112 effectively. Um, mm -hmm. Surprisingly, there were absolutely no penalties called on this play, <laughs> prompting a lot of discussion as to whether this is illegal or legal gameplay. Unfortunately, um, the forums did rule, well, unfortunately or fortunately, depending on what side of the coin you're on, um, the forums did rule that this style of play is not allowed or uh, highly discouraged due to violations of GS11 and GS6. Um, there are a lot of points of contact, see, especially right now with Redneck's, uh, Redneck's defense right here pushing pushing um, 9112. Um, unfortunately, no penalties were really given in this tournament, but it really shows that um, uh, there was a loophole and that was exploited. Um, regardless, these teams did make it to the finals with 724's alliance, but were defeated by the number one seed of 5026, 12384, and 5667, the Robo Miners. In addition, team 12384, Checkmate, got the gold goal with the Inspire Award as well. So now we're moving, uh, we're moving on to Colorado. Colorado also had a very interesting cha state championship with 2017 Detroit World Championship winners 6929 Data Force and 9899 Black Diamond Robotics vying for that top spot. In addition, Team 11260, whose video is being played right now, um, Upper Creek Robotics put on a massive showing. Team 9899 ended up as that first seed and picked Team 6929 to make their way up to the up the elimination bracket. They were met by res uh, met with resistance by Team 11260, who did win the first finals match, but um, that, that Red Alliance after a seed eventually prevailed. Congratulations to Team 9899 for winning that gold gold with the Inspire Award. And uh, I just, I oh, sorry, go ahead. I have a really quick thing. Um, so this was only a two-slot state championships, which means 9899, who was an Alliance captain, took a risk by accepting. 
because they kind of threw away their advancement slot from robot performance, um, which is really interesting. And kind of had they to already advanced. Strategy. Well, well, actually, um, 9899 was the one seed. So, um, 6929 oh, right. uh, 6929 was the um the um the uh, the what's it called, um the first pick. And no, they actually uh, 6929 up uh, till this point had not advanced. Um, oh. I was talking to their um their captain slash lead. Um, and he was saying that this was a calculated risk that they decided they had to take in order to make that advancement slot. They were just hoping that uh, 9899 was able to um. Get that, uh, get that Inspire Award, and they did. So it worked out well for them. Yeah, because ninety-eight, also, ninety-nine, and Upper Creek together would have been tough. That would have. Like, that would have. Watching Upper Creek, they are easily the best go into crater robot. They're able to get in there like that. It looks so smooth getting into that crater. Um, and like, I mean, I saw the reveal last night. They keep on bringing awesome robots in all first competitions. Absolutely, absolutely. So does so, Colorado um, oh, yeah. not allow? Does Colorado not announce like a second and third Inspire or like? No, no, because, I, like, they do, they do. I did see it on the Orange Alliance. Um, they do advance, okay. they do announce them. They just don't advance them. Or I guess oh. they do. They would. Uh, wait, yeah, you're right. Hold up, huh? That's right. That's right. Um, so I, I, that is weird stuff. Mm-hmm. One second. So yeah, I, I do got to do. I do have to do a little more research to figure oh. out um how that advancement worked out. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure it was three slots. Now that you mentioned oh, it, that. Oh, yeah, okay. May, may, that, that, probably, that makes the most sense. That makes the most sense with three slots. Okay. Did Upper Creek win Inspire or something? Like, I mean, they're no, Upper, Upper Creek did not advance out of Colorado. Wow. Yeah. Uh, so, um, yeah, all right. So just uh, so now we're going to go on to our next tournament. Just a week after the Colorado State Championship, we saw many of the same teams um, that got ca- competed at um, Colorado at the Wyoming State Championship, including Team 6929 Data Force, 9112 Skeleton Crew, 11260 Upper Creek Robotics, 4133 Fusion, 3188 Squiggle Splat Bang, and 5667 the Robo Miners. This was truly a star-studded event. With this is in the high twenties. There were not that many teams, but um, seeing such a deep field or seeing such a deep name recognition is pretty insane coming out of Wyoming. Sixty nine twenty nine took that first seed and picked their follow, fellow Colorado team one one two six zero Upper Creek to win the event. So there you go. That's where Upper Creek gets to worlds. And of um, course, they both got first and second inspire. Exactly. There you go. Yeah. So um, uh, yeah. Congrats to sixty nine twenty nine and one one six two zero for winning first and second inspire. So um, gold, gold for these guys and the gold and silver, I guess, for Upper Creek. So awesome, awesome move, uh, awesome stuff. Um, so before, uh, but before we do move on from this event, I really want to emphasize how deep it, how deep the, the picks and how deep the event actually was. The finalist alliance was team 9112 um, Skeleton Crew, 12357 Inconceivable, and 5667 Robo Miners. Like, all of these teams, have, we've seen them elsewhere. We've seen them be insanely high seeds. And come, being able to come together at Wyoming uh, to be a single alliance and to be the finalist alliance, I think, was just insane. Robo Miners were just killing it in the beginning of the season, right? Like, they were putting up a ton of really high scores, I if I remember correctly. So, Yeah. yeah. So, um, we're going to, uh, finally, we're going to wrap up with the Alamo Regional. Um, the Alamo Regional was a really deep field, um, just like just like the other ones coming out of this uh, coming out of the West slash South region. Um, so on the Naylor Division, we had champs finalist uh, Houston World Championship finalist seventy one sixty one Viperbox Hydra one two six seven zero Eclipse eighty eight and uh, eighty eight sixty six Saber Robotics and seventy seven ninety seven Victorian Voltage. I believe that uh, seventy seven ninety seven was the winning alliance captain of the Texas UIL State Championship last year. Um, surprisingly. Underdog 13072 Fellowship of the Robot ranked first, picked 88, picking 8860, uh, 8886, and 12397 High Voltage Rattlers, uh, taking it all the way. On the Kane division, we had Team 9829 MacBots, who had a really strong showing, team up with historical powerhouse 6299 Viperbots Quad X to take their division. The interdivision finals were a close one, but Kane took it all the way, taking it to three matches and winning it. In addition, congratulations to the MacBots for taking home that gold gold with the Inspire Award. Woohoo. Man. <laughs> so with that, unless you guys have other thoughts on, I want to highlight. Cyberbots, robots this year were all freaking weird, and especially Quadex's. Like, Quadex is insane. 
Like, yeah. I mean, I've so my first year was Rescue. That was the year that they were a captain at Worlds. They had one of the best robots ever. Now this year, they've got this robot which is probably the size of like it's <laughs> at least six feet long. Mm-hmm. And but one of the things that I'm worried about especially when it gets to Houston, if they ever have to play against a depot bot and a depot bot tries to cross <laughs> between that crater and lander, they they might get GS ten. True. That is very It'll true. But that's that's a that's a that's a common problem with all like the diagonal and like the diagonal yeah. jumper teams and all of whatnot. So um the the disadvantage that these guys have is that they're slower than those teams. So they can't retract and get out of the way as quickly. Yeah. Yeah. It's tough. Mm-hmm. Uh so Shashir, I have a question for you. Did uh Redneck win the like inspire or something like are there are they going to worlds from Utah? Or, uh, 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 actually, I don't uh, I don't recall. I, I know that they're going through to worlds. I believe it was through Idaho, but um, I do have to check mm-hmm. up on that. Um, Redneck Robotics, but I I do know that they have they made the world championship a while ago. I think at the beginning of this season. Oh okay okay. Mm-hmm. okay. I believe they were winning Alliance captain at their home state. Oh uh, yeah, they Montana. were Montana WAC. That's yeah, right. Montana. That's there you go. Okay. Uh, but that was our, our, our yeah, so. Yes, they did qualify, so. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers, keeping fun loud, live, and independent. Pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now.